Hi, curl friends. Naturally Rhonda here. I'm back. Okay, wait, no. That sounded a little creepy, like scary movie type, Chucky type. Mm -mm. But I am back. I've missed this. I really have. Um, if you haven't seen my video explaining why I took a much needed break from content creating, then I will leave that up above and down below. So check that out. It's rainy out. It's just one of those days where I just want to curl up in bed, binge one of my favorite shows, watch a good movie, eat some snacks, just chill. I don't feel like washing my hair today. I don't want to wash it. I don't want to detangle it. I don't want to style it. I don't want to dry it. I don't want to do any of that. I know that if I feel like this sometimes, y'all feel like that sometimes. I received the ORS Olive Oil Ultra HD Gel Sleek Smoothing. Um, this came in the August 2021 Curl Box. And when I first saw this, I got super excited because this is a whopping 20 fluid ounces whenever i see gel my first thought is wash and go but then after reading the pamphlet that came with this and the back of this jar this curl box seems to be geared more towards people who do weaves and wigs which i don't wear either of those so then for curly hair they suggested slick backs and sleek updos now i don't know about y'all but I really don't like washing my hair just to slick it back. It seems like a waste to me. So I thought today would be the perfect day to try out this gel and slick my hair back in a cute little bun, lazy way to extend that wash day. I did a video, I wanna say last year sometime, if not the year before, on my slicked back ponytail. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave that up above in the cards as well as down below in the description. So check that out. But I haven't done a video showing how I put my hair up in a bun. It's really simple, takes a few different ingredients, a few different tools, <laughs> um, ingredients, I'm not cooking. Let's just jump right into it. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I don't need that much water because this is just to wet the surface of my hair because your hair is more malleable when it's wet. I'm really focusing on, oops, my hair getting stuck in my bracelets. Okay, really focusing on the ends of my hair around the front and the back. Now I'm gonna go in with, this also came in the August Curl Box, the Olive Oil Cream Styler. I'm gonna smooth it in the front. I'm gonna take some more to smooth in the back. I'm taking a bristle brush. Then I take my knee high. I like to bring mine to the front of my head so then slide it back to position it wherever I want my ponytail or bun in this case to be. And then I just continue to wrap it around. Try not to get the ends of your hair stuck in there like I did. Now the step with the knee high does not have to be a knee high specifically. I know they have um, some, like I wanna say Cantu sells like these little, it looks kind of like a scrunchie and then there's hooks on either end of them and you kind of hook that together. I think I have too much hair for that. I've never tried them. I think I have them upstairs, but I've never tried them. Um, I've seen people do a uh, shoestring. Also like those stretched out um, or like those really big headbands, you could use that as well. Knee highs are really cheap and it works for me. So that's what I've been using. Normally, if I don't feel like doing my hair and I just wanna throw it up or if it's hot and I just need to throw my hair up, this is my go-to quick, just throw it up, boom. But this is not a style that's gonna last multiple days because my ends, they look nice now, but tomorrow is gonna be frizzy again. So that's why we're going in with the gel. But first, let's make our bun. Now I'm going to use this 
chunky big scrunchie to hold my bun together i like to start gathering it together and then as best as i can twist all of this hair together and then twist it around to make my bun i like to do messy buns just because they don't have to be perfect i'm way too hard on myself to try to make one of those perfect like beautiful ballerina buns my buns don't come out like that messy bun there you have it now for the final step well not the final step sorry y'all but the next step i take the gel this is what it looks like you know i might use this gel for like a maybe a, a twist out or a braid out in the future i don't know how it would do for a wash and go but i'm just going all over my edges and then the back i'm being very generous because i want this style to last a few days take your bristle brush smooth everything down even more i don't lay my edges i have nothing against laying edges i'm just too lazy honestly and um i don't think i'm good enough at it to do like the cute designs and everything so i'm not gonna do any of that if that's your thing if that's what you're into even if you just want to try it out go off sis do your thing my final step i like to take a scarf this is a small scarf um i got this on amazon i'm gonna try to find the link for it and link it down below but i like to take the scarf and just wrap it around Now, I like to leave this on for a good 20, 30 minutes, 15, at least 15 minutes to really set the edges and everything in place. If you're going somewhere, you could leave this on, take it off right before you get out of the car or something like that. So I'm going to keep this style in for maybe three, four days, and then I will come back and show you another way that I like to extend my wash days. My hair was up in this bun for about three days and it was holding together really well. It just looks like this right now because I had to pull the hoodie over my head and I wasn't being careful about it because I knew I was about to redo my hair. But this is what we're working with. Now I'm going to show you another style that I like to do to prolong my wash day. It's another bun. Oh, this just feels so good. Okay. We're gonna do another bun, but it's gonna be a low bun. Some of the same. I just realized I have my glasses on <laughs> and I'm not refilming that. Y'all know I wear glasses. All right, so taking my handy dandy spray bottle of water and this time I'm wetting mainly the top. I'm focusing all the water on the top of my head. Going back in with this cream styler and I'm just smoothing this on the front of my hair. Go back with the bristle brush and really, oops, don't hit your wall. I had to wet mine some more because it wasn't cooperating. For this part, I just keep wetting, brushing, re-wetting, brushing more until my hair is laying down as much as I would like it to. And I know that some people would use like a paddle brush. I'm not a fan of doing that. I think it tugs on my hair too much, which means that I have a few more bumps, but whatever. Now I'm going to attempt to do a little part. Let's see how that goes. I am horrible at parting. Adding a part at this point did make it a little more challenging. That's what I get for being extra. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the gel. I'm going to be very generous with the gel. And I take my knee high, try to position it back behind the part. And then the same as before, you are going to take all of this and as best as you can, twist it until you can get it 
into a body. I take the scrunchie. Boom. Like I said before, it is not a perfect bun. I embrace the messy in the messy bun. It is not a ballerina bun at all. It will do for when you don't want to do your hair. Now, I would also just wet the top. I go in with more gel. Like I said, I am very generous with the gel. Now, this next step is completely optional. I'm honestly only doing it because this product came in the same curl box. I'm just going to spray some of the ORS Olive Oil Fix It Super Hold Spray. So it's hairspray. Ooh, I think the last time I used hairspray was probably during my relaxer days. So this is my look for today. And yeah, then I will have to wash my hair. After all of this gel and hairspray, I do need to wash my hair. This is the moment where I like to point your attention to some of my other content, like two of my other favorite how-to videos. I love you for watching, y'all. Please be safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.